This week on Engineering Newswire, we're crash landing the Ferrari of space, seeing through traffic, making plants bionic, and testing the sting of the Yellow Jacket personal protection device. On David Manti. <laughs> The GOES satellite from the European Space Agency has been orbiting the Earth at the lowest altitude of any research satellite for the last four years. But now, the Ferrari of space, as it has been dubbed, has reached the end of the road. GOES is likened to the Ferrari because of its streamlined shape and the arrangement of its six solar panels. The GOES, standing for Gravity Field and Steady State Ocean Circulation Explorer, has been using a sensitive instrument known as the Gradiometer to measure gravity in 3D. The Gradiometer consists of six three-axis accelerometers, which are mounted in a diamond configuration. The devices map variations in Earth's gravity to create a unique model of the Earth's geoid, which it measured to within two centimeters. The mapping of dynamic topography and circulation patterns of the oceans has helped achieve accurate measurements of ocean circulation and sea level change. Now that the ion thrusters have finally run out of fuel, the ESA is planning to bring this hot rod out of the heavens and back to Earth. Well, sort of. Back to Earth, but in several tiny burnt pieces. It's not really coming back. It's, it's getting burned up in the atmosphere. One of my biggest pet peeves is driving behind a slow moving semi or other SUV type vehicle in the fast lane and not knowing if it's safe to pass them on the right because I cannot see what is in front of them. Well, a team of researchers at the University of Porto in Portugal may have found a solution to this type of driving frustration with their new augmented reality system that allows drivers to see right through the vehicles ahead of them. The see-through system uses a lightweight, heads-up display that features a camera that records the traveling driver's perspective. Software recognizes the back of the lead vehicle and replaces it with a video feed from a webcam mounted on the lead vehicle. The image does have a 200 milliseconds delay, which could prove dangerous if the image transmission stutters. Hopefully a technology like this will also decrease the amount of road rage drivers experience during long trips. Get out! We've made a lot of jokes here on Engineering Newswire about the impending doom that seems to be looming toward us as robots become more human. Now, Cornell researchers are putting microchips into plants. I'm out. The researchers have developed a microfluidic water sensor within a fingertip size silicone chip. That's itty bitty. Though the chip is small, it is 100 times more sensitive than current devices. So why would the researchers embed these things in plants? This lab on a chip sensor has wires that can be hooked up to a card for wireless data transmission. Utilizing microfluidic technology, these sensors can monitor the moisture in specific lots of crops. Combining information from the plant embedded chips with the data from chips placed in the ground as well, farmers and growers can adjust their irrigation habits for better yields. This is great since I have a tendency to kill houseplants. The yellow jacket just might prove to be the point when I become a full-blown Applephile. Forget the 64-bit A7 processor and desktop class architecture, what finally turned me was this plastic accessory that right now is only compatible with an iPhone 4 or 4S. The yellow jacket combines your average case with an extended battery pack and a personal protection device. You heard me right, forget the battery pack, we're here because this baby packs a high voltage stun gun. The stun gun isn't meant to do irreparable harm, but it supposedly produces a sting painful enough to ward off muggers and other misguided youths looking to pinch your wallet or phone. After charging it for four hours, you merely have to flip the switch and wait a moment for the blue light before it's ready to hit you with 0.8 milliamps. According to the company, it's only enough juice to cause pain with no long-term harmful side effects. Well, that's nothing. The iPhone 5 and Samsung Galaxy S4 cases will be upgraded to one milliamp, but that is slated for the fall of 2013, and it's the fall of 2013, and I'm still without my case for the Galaxy S4. Well, what's a product review without a demonstration? So I've brought in Wireless Week's Andrew Berg to take one with the Newswire team. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh. Andy? <laughs> ah! <laughs> huh. Anything five seconds or more has been known to cause the assailant to hit the deck or experience short-term mental or physical confusion. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Megan Zimba and this has been your Engineering Newswire. I love this thing! <laughs>